Anyways, let's go to Marcadia. Okay. Let's get some stuff we could before. Which is... Yeah. Uh, another one, Vertigo. Don't know that one. I've uh, heard of it now, a now regarded as one of Alfred Hitchcock's greatest films, the Chris initially gave it mixed reviews, resulting in box office failure. Ah. I've heard vaguely about Vertigo. I, heard, I know the name, I've never seen it. Yeah, I have heard it's a good movie. Uh, essentially, instead of blaming critical reviews, Hitchcock blamed the lead actor Jimmy Stewart for being too old to play an appealing love interest in the film. Jeez! Ouch. So essentially, critical panning and the actual director... Panning. Yeah, yeah. director was panning, like, kind of sealed that one. Right. That's a little unfortunate. Away, you I know how this all works. You don't need to uh, yell at the audio QCB. Yeah. Uh, Clue. Clue. Oh, I freaking love this one. Clue, you mean? Yes, yeah, Clue, the film. Hmm. I haven't seen it. it based, the board game Clue. Well, yeah, I know that. Okay, I just never seen yeah, it. Yeah, Tim Curry's the butler. Ah. Uh, the first spider symbol. Let me just uh, burn it for a second. Okay, so we're here. Alright, first things first. Hope we're off. You too. So, get the refractor ready. You want to go in here first, actually. God! For no reason whatsoever, because you're there. Damn it! Stop. All right. So refractor here. Aim it in there. Wait, did you get the gravity boots back? We got them from Blackwater City when we finished it. Right, I, I forgot. I didn't notice the cutscene. I just didn't think about it. Law this perspective! Ah. Don't worry. That's a little awkward. There we go. Okay. Alright, so... And here we are, titanium bolt number one. <laughs> and the second one is at the end before we meet Big Al. Well, back where Big Al was in there at the computer. Right, right. There's so. a gravity plane there. Right. Just go and walk over there. And unless you guys got it. So, do you want Alright, so with Clue, um, it made from a $15 million budget, uh, only made back uh, $14.6 million. Damn. Damn, wow. even That's unfortunate. It, it wasn't helped by indifferent and middling wow. reviews <laughs> from critics, including Roger Ebert. Anyways, yeah. So here is the um, yeah. gravity well. Climb up. Just get it on the I ceiling think. there. Yep. So let's get out. And I will say the backtracking here while. Well, Thank you they have those warps for you. Yeah. So let's go back to the ship. I keep reading the second game did kind of have that. Yeah, it did. First game had less of that, although yeah. it would have been appreciated, but it had more. The, mo the most it had backtracking for the first game were the freaking taxi cabs. Yeah. But these games have that too, so. Yeah, it has those, but it also has the teleporters. Yeah. Because sometimes, because like in the puzzle areas, they don't really have those. At least in the first game. First game down the teleporters. Second game did have the teleporters. I'm like, pretty sure. Anyways, next yeah, up. Yeah, did. Here we go. Let me just check to make sure. I think it's. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to uh, Annihilation Nation one last time. Before we go, I'm gonna change my outfit a little bit. You gonna take another skin this time? Yep. Oh wow, we have twelve. So you get two of these. Good. Let's get brainy. Brainiest. <laughs> oh my god, Ratchet, how are you alive? Don't ask. <laughs> oh, don't ask, don't tell. It's one of those things. Which is no longer a thing. <laughs> god damn it, Quake. God damn it, Ratchet. Have you seen yourself? Look at yourself in a mirror sometime. I can't! I know! Right. Fucking moron! Yeah. So? Meet Courtney! The gauntlet. Anything special with this? Nope, just another plain old gauntlet. Okay then, back to the list. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Brazil. I don't know what that movie is. Neither do I. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, political satire based partially on 1984. Mm. Um, of 
Netflix. Fifteen million dollar budget only generated nine point nine million domestic plays. Yeah, political movies. I yeah. understand that. Yeah, political satire could not appeal to mass audiences. Nope. But reports also stated that uh, Gilliam, the director, uh, uh, who also directed Money Pipe by the Holy Grail. Oh. Wow. Yeah, Terry That's a big Gilliam. Joke. Yeah. Right. Uh, the had to fight the studio on a final cut of the movie. Oh God. Which may have uh, dissuaded the average movie goer from attending the film. Wow. Stop looking at me! Another one died. Another way. This one I never heard of. Uh, Harold and Maude. I think I might have heard of it. Uh, dark comedy focused on a 20 year old who falls in love with an 80 year old woman. Oh boy! The non traditional romance filled with drama and dark humor failed to attract uh, crowds at the theaters. Yeah, I wonder why. that's a hard one to sell. Yeah. Many critics found it inappropriate and depressing. And oh god, it's time for my least favorite. Scorpio! Time for a skill point! Go wrench! Wrench it! Oh god! It's worse than that freaking brain boss in the first game. Where you can't get hit? Yeah. Actually, this one doesn't look that bad. Because you can probably at least get hit. Yeah. You can't use anything but the wrench. Just remember, most things in the first game only. Oh wait, no, brain, that was the second game. Come on. Second game was. Yeah. I kind of wish I showed off the uh, cheat that I think about. Because there is one cheat for this game. Using a cheat code that I could show off. Okay, he's being a little different now. Okay. Yeah. This is why I hate this fight. After you hit him a while, he's just gonna flame through the entire ground around him. Yeah. And when you're near when you're near death. There. Um that for that one? I got one more, I got oh. Yeah, many critics uh, found it inappropriate and depressing, and it ultimately was unable to break even at the box office. Which movie is this? Harold and Maude. It's a lot of romance about a 20-year-old man falling in love with an 80-year-old woman. Yeah. I can understand why that one wouldn't sell. Ow, fuck you! This one I actually am not surprised by. Uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. That's a really weird one, so yeah, I can understand that too. Controversial reception, that's why. Yep. And because because of that, uh, of its 18.5 million dollar uh, production budget, it only grossed uh, 10 what, point six million. So it didn't even break even. Yeah, I heard the book of that was better anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which was uh, Hunter S. Thompson was the author of the book. Right, right. Fuck these flamethrowers, man. Yeah. It was very. He hits me. It was very polarizing for critics, and it was generally viewed as a visual spectacle that was aimless and lacked drive. I can see that. This was one of Johnny Depp's like early roles. Too. Yeah, I was gonna say I know Johnny Depp was in it. Yeah. Now this was a little surprising to me. Highlander. The yeah. first movie. Is that the first time? Mel Gibson, right? No, that's Braveheart. Oh, that's Braveheart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Highlander, Sean Connery, and Christopher Lambert. Oh, oh, okay, that one. All right. For a moment, I didn't remember Highlander was. I always hear about yeah, it. Christopher, yeah, same here. Yeah, Christopher Lambert was also rated in the first Mortal Kombat movie. Who? Chris, Christopher Lambert. So he goes from there can only be one to an all-powerful fucking god. Who plays those? Oh god, well he did what he set out to do, I guess. Stop celebrating! Stop breathing fire! Yeah, this is the rest of the fight, by the way. Nothing yeah. but fire. So you gotta hit him when he shoots his flamethrowers upwards. Yeah. Or he's back <laughs> mind you, he's backing up the entire goddamn time. Okay. Now, but reading the reasonings why I somewhat makes a little more sense. Oh come on! Okay. Because the action-packed melodrama was played with conflicts on the set in a weak box office debut that only managed to recoup uh, a third of its $16 million budget. Oh, damn. So, off, behind the scenes, 
uh, behind the scenes drama plus and, and plus uh, mo- monetary uh, budget for uh, games that right for the box office. Oh my god, this is obnoxious. Now I see why you hate this. This last part is the most annoying part of the entire thing. He just doesn't stop. He stops when he hits you, but it's not worth it. Actually, he only does 7 damage, so I think I can get away with this. And that was without armor, too. Yeah, let me just check to make sure. Yep, there it is. Okay, we're good. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand for Ratchet and Clank! Oh god. Video Ooh, another video comic! <laughs> Did we have come back here for this? No. Okay. Intalented. Intalented. I'll take her. Yeah. It is an honor for you to meet me. And you, me, to meet you, Miss Gears. Hi. Hi. <laughs> my, my, you're even more gorgeous of in person than you are on the Hollow Agent Clank. I've got a few secrets of my own that uh, might need your special investigation. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I will report your concerns to the proper authorities. Oh, Agent Clank, you always know exactly what to say to a woman. You know, I do anything to play a part in one of your Hollow films. Uh, that could be arranged, Miss <laughs> Gears. If you are willing to provide information on the whereabouts of Dr. Nefarious. Dr. Uh, Nefarious? Clank, master negotiator. You have been busy, haven't you? You just get me that. Yeah, don't worry. This is Clank we're talking about. Anything you want to know. Excellent. Meet me at Hollow Star Studios. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. By the way, Ratchet, where's your girlfriend? Who? Or where's Who? Angela? Well, I guess it wasn't her, her girl, his girlfriend still. Where is Angela? Who? Exactly who? <laughs> She's not coming back, is she? Nope. I thought she did come back. Fuck! Time. <laughs> uh, yeah, she... I don't know. I mean, the creators did say if there was going to be another game in the series for the reboots, they were thinking of bringing her back. I thought there was a romantic interest for Ratchet. There she was. She was. was. Oh, was the word. I thought I, I thought I was I thought I was hearing you guys say like it would be built on in the next game. <laughs> no nope. shit. I fooled myself. That's why I jokingly say who because she's never brought up again. Yeah. And I'm being serious. <sighs> so let's ratchet you moron. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're a rooster, you piece of shit. Oh god, there's a lot of challenges now. Holy yep. shit. Well, good time to go through some lists then. Okay, time for one hit wonder. Let's not get hit. Got it. Right. Oh. Weapons so right, so galore. Yep. All right, so going back more for the list. Uh, Boondock Saints. That was a good movie. Ah, damn it, I already moved. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get hit. Fuck the lava. The <laughs> lava's indeed hot. Who knew? <laughs> So of a six million dollar budget, only made back exactly thirty thousand four hundred and seventy one box office. Ouch. Yeah. Bought really down to Second Life as a video rental when the studio struck a deal with the then popular rental chain Blockbuster to promote the thriller as a blockbuster exclusive. Wow. Oh damn ninjas. Wow, they they pot shot on you as they came out the door. I'm doing this wrong, am I? Yep. Yeah. You're using the lava gun. But again, I understand why. Uh, Event Horizon being the next one for us. Oh, I feel like I heard... late ninety sci-fi for a long. Okay, I think I know the name, but I don't really know the movie at all. Uh, stars Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Neill, and Kathleen Quinlan. Uh, What's the name of the movie? Yeah. Event Horizon. I feel like I know. I I know I heard that name somewhere. Yeah. I know Nostalgia Girl probably, Doug Walker probably did a Nostalgia Girl. Alright, level 5. I thought he got hurt for a second. Another level 5 weapon. Nitro Raptor. Woo! What does it do? Woo! It basically looks like a mini nuke. Basically. It's basically the mini nuke. Damn. Oh god, help! Ah! Ben Horizon was often compared to other space horror movies like Alien Fox release. Well, that's unfair. Yeah. 
Uh, despite it, it's uh, generating a gross a $27 million worldwide, the movie was considered a major loss for a movie that cost an estimated $60 million to make. God damn! That's unfortunate. Even though critics ran it through the mud, Event Horizon's uh, found uh, fans as a niche sci-fi space thriller with surprisingly strong visual effects for its time. You ever have the most Nicholas Cage movies on this list? The most modern Nicholas Cage movies on this yeah. list. Oh wow, this one's not surprising to me. The thing. Yeah, I think I do remember hearing that one flopping. Yeah, John Carpenter's The Thing. Also, ah. look, at, look at the title. Why would you be excited about seeing a movie called The Thing? It doesn't sound like a great one. Uh, well, it was a thing. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a monster movie. Time to suck! 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 It's a pure suck can, huh? Just don't switch it to blow. Too late. It kinda has to do that. Damn. Gee, I got one suck cannon ammo. I wonder how. So I'm like a big huge right today. Um, so. The thing, yeah. Yeah, the thing. The thing. Um, so it's viewed as a financial and critical dud, filled with a $15 million budget, it scraped by with uh, about $20 million to box office. Yeah, it doesn't flop too bad. It was despised by many critics, including David Dendy of New York Magazine, who said it was more disgusting than frightening, and most of it was just boring. Well, that's what old horror movies are. They're suspenseful. Yeah. It is freaky, but that's what leaves a great impression on it. Yeah. Later, many critics would regret their first impression, as a game claimed in the years since. Yeah, you look at other modern horror movies like, oh god. Compared to something like that, oh. Uh, next one on the list, Idiocracy. Okay, I've heard of that one. I've never heard of that one. Another one of Mike, uh, Mike Judge's like, and projects. Yeah. <clears throat> um, suck. But I did find it funny though, they had Terry Crews as the president. In that movie. Oh. I do remember hearing something about that. Who was a wrestler-based character? Yeah, I remember hearing something about that. Yeah. Also, I did not realize we were upgrading the suck cannon. Yeah. It took me a while to realize. Soldier was placed in hibernate. Uh, a soldier uh, played by Luke Wolfman. Is oh God! Actually, this one. Was a place in hibernation for hundreds of years and he wakes up to discover he's down the smart man alive. Mike Judge Satire cost $4 million to produce and only generated half a million in worldwide ticket sales. Four million? Wow. Only four million? God damn. To produce, but only gain back half a million. Right. Oh, God. A huge element uh, of its failure was the complete absence of a marketing campaign. I can believe that. No movie trailers, ads, or press games. Oh, damn it. So, failure to advertise. Just beat the twins without taking damage. It's not how hard I fucked up. Right. You got a time to jump with the shock waves. Dodging this one is pretty easy. Dodging the other one is a little harder. It's still not too hard. This one I do remember hearing, but I still sat in here. Uh, Scott Pilgrim was the one. That's a tragic one. Yeah. That movie was actually alright. That one was great. Yeah. Yeah, massive bu production budget of 85 million, but only made up 47.7 million views. Like most flops on this list, uh, the film was later helped uh, by home media and streaming sales. As of 2018, the film has grossed nearly 30 million dollars since bombing at the box office in 2010. How much did it? 85 million. Uh, in, in terms of budget, but. Uh, uh, forty-seven point seven million. It made it theaters. So it still hasn't it made still a profit. Still hasn't made a profit. Yeah, that's that's sad. Yeah, that's a that's a good movie. I like that movie. Yeah, I do too.